All right, Coach, just the general thoughts on preparing for Troy. What challenges are they presenting? What are you working on this week? Well, we're working on playing good football. They're a heck of a team. I mean, they're very talented, well coached, excellent on offense and defense. Right now, you know, watching them, I'd, I'd say that there's a reason why they're in first place in our conference. They're, they look like, and I haven't seen everybody yet, but uh, the ones that I've seen so far, this is the best team in our conference right now. And uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us. They're playing great ball. And, you know, their only loss is at, at Clemson by six points, and they had opportunities in that game. So, you know, it, it's going to be a, a battle there. I think they're back to be in the Troy of old, and, you know, we've got to go be the true state of new. Did you anything? You said the best team. You just got off the field with Appalachian State a couple of weeks ago. That's pretty high praise for this Troy team. Well, I, I'm not saying that, that they are going to beat Ab. I'm just saying that when you watch them on film right now, talent across the board and the way they're playing right now is is as good as anybody or if not better so I mean I, it's apples and oranges when you talk about those two they're, but uh, they're right up there you know if they're not the best they're right up there so we've got to go beat them on their field on their homecoming they uh, they put a lot of points on the board they can move both to the ground and through the air how encouraging is it to approach them after the week you got from guys like McKinney Putting that pressure on that quarterback and setting the stage with some turnovers. Well, playing well is, you know, part of it. I mean, having confidence and, you know, we're going to have to play our best to go in there and have a chance to beat them. And, and uh, you know, we'll find a way to rise to the occasion. Offensively, how important is that ball control? Kyle and you had a big performance controlling the clock, especially the second half of the last game. How helpful is that going to be? How important will that be to have possession to keep their offense off the field? Well, I mean, it's always important. I mean, you got to have the ball. I mean, we found out what happens when we go three and out and when we don't have any time of possession. We, we get beat. I mean, it's not even, it won't be close if we don't, you know, move the ball on offense, have some running game, and, and be able to have some explosive plays. If you don't do that, it, it, it will be a long, long day. We talked after the game, and one of the things you talked about was the way you guys finished. You won the game, but there were some things that got kind of sloppy, some turnovers and the like that you wanted to get cleaned up this week. Those are things you stress them this week? Oh, well, we stress them every week, yeah. taking care of the football. So, you know, we just uh, we, we can't put the ball on the ground and, and throw interceptions. Uh, when we get an opportunity to put, get them to put the ball on the ground or throw a pick, we got to take advantage of it. So, you know, this is uh, – you can't turn the ball over against these guys. Uh, Idaho, I think Idaho turned it over about five times, and they got blown, and New Mexico State did, and you know they got they got 52 hung on them. So, you know, you you've got to take care of the ball, and that, but that's everything. One of your keys on the offense to be on your tight ends. Rusted here, uh, not working out with you. What book can you tell us anything about his possible status this week? Uh, we're waiting to hear more. He's got to uh, deal with the doctors. And, trainers and that's I turn that over to them they'll, they'll tell me if he's ready or not so I just wait to hear you guys recently just yeah, agreed to the partnership with the Under Armour can you talk about what you think the impact that would have right, on the team obviously it's you know not an X's and O's thing I don't just, think our team's even problem. thought about it to be honest with you I don't even know if they know you know what I mean <laughs> I, I, I love Under Armour and I love the way they treat us you know and uh, the way they you know I the way that uh, just the way that they I think the relationship would be with the university I think it'd be great for for everybody all sports not just football and, and basketball but all sports and I think it's a you know our administration did a great job of going out and getting somebody that wants to take right. care of us benefit everybody and and have a great relationship with you think it'll have any impact on recruiting in any way no <laughs> not at all I mean pretty gear is pretty gear you know it doesn't matter you know what about hostile crowds and you're going to face one this week? It seems like it brings out the best in this group. Why is that? It's just college atmosphere. You know, it's always great. It's fun. You know, you like to be on the road with your back against the ball, no one, no one there yet, you know, pulling for you. And it's just, it's, it makes college football what it is, you know, the, just the whole environment, the smell of the tailgate when you get off the bus and, you know, the electricity in the air. It's just, it's going to be a, a fun, fun crowd to be around. Whether they're screaming and yelling at you or not, you know, it's just what college football is, and it's just a privilege to go do it.